Hi and welcome to cmsthisway.com. This is Nishal, and today we are going to discuss uh, on the most uh, anticipated topic for me because many people have been asking me how to import Flipkart feeds to WooCommerce in WordPress. So this tutorial will guide you how you can do that. And first of all, you will require some uh, key needs for this. That is a uh, you need a plugin which is. Uh, WP all import the plugin is not a free one it is paid and it's uh, around 139 dollars the total pack the standard version is 99 dollars but we need also a woocommerce add-on that's around more 39 bucks more so the cost is around 139 dollars uh, secondly we also need a flip at affiliate account and uh, just need to flip uh, sign up with Flipkart affiliate and you will be getting a Flipkart account immediately. Okay, then you need to log in the Flipkart affiliate account, product feeds. Product feeds will get an option that you can download a CSV file for the particular category you want. I will be selecting mobiles. Okay, and I will be selecting with uh, download with affiliate IDs. This will be a little time consuming and if you want to download affiliate ID without affiliate ID, it won't take much time. So I have already made a file of 20 sample file for me uh, for this tutorial. Once you download the file, uh, you can upload it. You have to go to the WP All Import, New Imports, and here you have three options. You can upload a file, or you can uh, download a file which is hosted elsewhere. You just have to uh, put the URL, and then it will download the system automatically or use an existing so we haven't been using any file so this option is not working right now so we'll go the first one that is upload a file go for a csv file or an xml don't go for xls or any other excel format it won't take okay uh, depending upon how much products and images you have it will take time for my, my it is only 20 products so it is uh, quite uh, fast here you have to select you have to select WooCommerce product this is a really important step uh, go for WooCommerce product only continue now you will be taken to the second step here you have an option to see how much products you have I have 19 products and uh, okay I can check it out 2-3 products mm, apply okay good we are good to go there are 20 products uh, hmm. and in the step 3 <clears throat> okay here the main game comes in play well, uh, well these are the products and the fields which are, are uh, in a, a, a csv file these are all the fields which i will be getting through csv file and this is your woocommerce uh, particular portal all woocommerce details here so we need to drag from here on the right hand side and put it on the left hand side right i will show you see the title this is a title and i need the title to be here awesome easy the title will be here so all the title in the all the title in this uh, excel will be imported here in the title description same way description put the description over here i want to see how it looks wow fantastic description is here the title is here everything seems right also you can check to the two three more products wow it works well i'm satisfied okay the description is not available the title is there in my flipkart you may have a lot of products which don't have a detailed description so the description is missing but the title is here okay i don't have any short description so i'm going to leave this one and uh, now the main thing uh, i would select here the affiliate product because i will get an option that i can submit the link over here paste the link over here so anybody would buy anybody would buy it so i can get the commission so uh, you can keep any sq you want but to avoid the hassles i prefer keeping the wordpress sorry the flipkart uh, skus as uh, same as my product skus 
So I have dragged uh, the product SKU that is product ID in the sheet Flipkart sheet to my SKU. So all the SKUs will be uh, tasted over here. So all the products will be whole bunch of uh, uh, products over here will be getting the same affiliate ID. <coughs> and the next is product url so i will be having a product url here yeah, yeah that's right here keep the product url so according to the product id the it will match the product url and it will paste automatically all the products in this uh, buy it from flipkart buy it's a label which you can give the button should appear in the front end buy it from flipkart Flipkart, buy it from Flipkart. Awesome. So, uh, this should be Indian currency. I, I didn't, didn't change the currency, that's why it's looking pound. By default, it's pound. So, you just need to correct the changes in the settings, WooCommerce settings. So, drag it from here. The, always the less price will be going in the regular price. The less one, sorry, my bad. The more price will be giving in the regular price. The sale price should be always less. That's it. Review price. It will show in pounds, but you know you can change the settings in uh, from the WooCommerce setting. Okay. Okay. What next? Yeah, the attributes. So you have the options to give as many attributes you want. Just need to label them. So I need an attribute called brand. I'll just write it and it will be reflecting in the all the products and i need to give the value so the what is the color sorry my bad. the brand the product brand is blackberry so this brand value brand will be reflected in every product and the values of the brand will be reflecting to the product that will be according to this sheet so the brand and the id so all the information in this will be pasted right here The most important things here, yeah, I don't think so much important. Yes, it is an advanced option. If you want uh, to enable the review, just select yes. I don't need to right now because I'm developing. Okay. Yeah. There. This is a great option. No. Uh, if you need that, if you want to again uh, just no, import the products again to just for the price, you, you just click on this. Don't check on the duplicate SKUs. So what this will do, if you uncheck it, it will check the SQs of duplicate and if there is some products which are matching, it will just change the values which have been changed. So that is a good good point of this uh, plugin. Okay, now we are going to images. Well, Flipkart provides many images. Uh, there are a bunch of images, but usually if you see, the first image is the perfect one. Others are very uh, thumbnails, most of them are thumbnails. So I don't use them, I just want the first one. But right now for the demo I have used all the images. You have to just select down and for Flipkart you have to use a comma. It's because as all the files are separated from comma. So and I would require the first images of 400 by 400 megapixels. So I would set the first image as the featured one. Review and test. Okay, these are perfect. These are perfect. Uh, okay. These all images are visible. So we are going to right track. Images are done. Custom fields. No, I'm not going to explain custom product info category. This is an important thing for many of us. Most of us, sorry. Product category. <coughs> uh, the best method is mapping yourself your category. So I would select product category and. Uh, product this option product have manual track settings okay and another so the main category would be uh, mobile mm -hmm. electronics l e c t r o n i c yes, electronics and this would be 
main category electronics so all will be having the category electronics according to the uh, according to the it's the main brand electronics is the main and according to the sheet uh, the like it's having the mobile accessories mobile so it will be getting uh, ca category the category electronics will have the values as uh, mobiles and uh, mobile access and accessories in mobile exactly so here all will be printed as electronics and that will be having a subcategory for this uh, mobiles and category mobile so if you have a product like uh, mobiles you can write mobiles over here m o b i l e s mobiles and the brand should be the subcategory so you just take the option for brands over here product brand push to here paste to here you remove the categories option so what will happen will be according to the excel the csv file the, it, the, it will have the category mobile and the subcategory will be according to the values in the sheet so that's how you can manage your category that's it okay let me tell you ah, this is more one thing advantage while i like the pay i like all the products to be published as soon as i do the import but you can also share it to the draft but i recommend go for publish okay the good feature over here is that you can make a template uh, basically uh, uh, the settings will be saved as a template so if you want to make a similar kind of uh, import you have a similar kind of import you just have to save it uh, okay cmf test one so whenever i have a similar import i just need to to just select this template and it will automatically filter the products accordingly go on the step four this will be a last we are coming to last steps okay uh, this means uh, this uh, wp import will create a new product for each unique id in the your effect unique id basically you don't have to do you can also paste it you can do a skus but i recommend go for auto detect so it will uh, verify the title verify the product id that's sku and email url string so it will verify the product this will help it to make every product individual product as uh, uh, you know unique how every product is different from each other so next time you import it has a unique identifier for all the products and it will just change the entry if there are duplicate products okay well we are good to go uh, last step is continue now we'll be having the option to run the import just wake back and just confirm and run import it will take time depending upon how many products you have uh, just patient, <laughs> just uh, patiently wait till it gets finished uh, if you have many images it will take more time if you have uh, only text data then it will comparatively take less time but you need to wait for a while while uh, it's doing uh, yeah we have completed all the products well, it took a couple of uh, no not a couple it took around five minutes um, to complete the import let's see how the products look mm. also look at the how the i will tell you the board the front and side yeah it's, it's looking good all the products have been published and uh, mm, images are coming up there can be a problem in the images because these images are uh, formatted by flip card side so if you need you need to have some canvas to it and let's see how the products are wow so these are the products which are newness all new products i want not the old ones okay so we are getting all the products over here if you have a problem for image i will be writing a different tutorial for the image one uh, but till now you have imported or we have imported all the products yes and let's take the link how the link works right from flipkart i need to buy pick me 
so yeah oh it's out of stock but it does work thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye